All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balanced Dialogue Teletainment this morning. Now, if you check your Agogo, you go see this next level will sit on top. Now, the one we consign me, it consign you, you consign everybody for our environment. Now, for inside the studio, we'll get a very familiar face. Yes, she'll be one of us, Seth. But on top of the show today, she come from a very different level because she now ambassador to the foundation for the elimination of single-use plastic, a.k.a. a soup. Now, this one, them, the work where they do, now they make sure that they focus on national policy where they address and that they end the plastic pollution matter. Now, their mission and vision now to make sure say everywhere where they work out for the corner of Niger, this plastic nylon, when I put on a polythene nylon on a yellow and black nylon on a yellow and a white and black nylon, where once you use it, you go through them. That's what they call single use. They want to make sure say that kind of nylon, you know, go day Niger. Within a certain time frame, now they work on top, and that's now why we don't get um, none other than the TV host and actor. We have Olive and Modi inside Yay. the studio. Thank you so How much. How are you today? <laughs> I'd be all right too. Now talking about plastic, um, this uh, single uh, single use plastic elimination. Um, a matter we'll get for Nigeria. It don't did for a very long time. We're looking at exactly. plastic. And if you're looking at pollution, they say Nigeria alone, they produce about 32 million tons of um, pollu polluted waste for inside the country. And when it terms of, when you look at plastic in particular, it's about 2.5 million tons of plastic waste in terms of this plastic nylon what they talk about. Lagos alone, they produce 450,000 metric tons of this plastic waste. And yet... We say we are trying to be environmentally friendly. Tell us about your um, the the NGO we do work with and waiting. So the problem we say, you know, everything we don't talk now. The problem we say, first of all, we get waste management problem for Nigeria as a whole. People we not we not know how we take the disposal of our waste. A lot mm -hmm. of our waste people never we never master the culture of proper waste disposal. Now we can't make matters worse. We say we they use plastic anyhow, anyhow. Now we get one statistics for 2013. We talk say we they use about 100 million plastic bottles a day and 60 million sachet of water a day. This one now not include water. You talk now pure water. Pure water, water oh, pure water. Mm -hmm. This one not include people where we say that they use and they brush teeth. The ones where we say you know that they do a jet, that they use and they wash hand and all. This one are just say people they buy to drink, and. Unfortunately, this is not 20, that time not 2013, this is not 2019. Imagine how many more would they use. Now, our organization, where they call the Foundation for the Elimination of Single-Use Plastic, when they try to talk, we say, single-use plastic no good. It they spoil our country, they spoil our environment. Not be only us, the whole world. Different parts of the world, then they put legislation where we say, go regulate single-use plastic. For example, if they go to Rwanda, from their airport, you don't go carry nylon enter inside their airport. If you go places like Kenya, you don't go see nylon up and down. And it's the African countries. Exactly, African Africa countries. Like Maybe we'll come out for even outside Africa. Go like for America. It gets some even countries where we say, Maybe we not even go too far from their airports. You know, if you use all this our bottle water where we they carry. For San Francisco now, you know, if you carry bottle water, they go tell you, may you come with your reusable, you know, uh, bottle water. A lot of them go, a lot of them still keep that option, but it go they more expensive. So if you want to use plastic, it go they more expensive. The reason why we they do waiting, we they do be say plastic they spoil, it they spoil things for us. So now, Luchi, I know so many people never sit down to think, ask themselves, say, when you drink your bottle water, you drink your pure water. Where they end, we know they think about them. Some people could just fling her from inside motor, fling her me inside exactly. road. Exactly. If does mean even day, they if does mean day trash bag that they fit the ones where still get certain morals for them. Go keep them fit for them. For inside but the now the problem be say even if you try and for does be you no, know, you try and for road though, when they pack them regardless. It get few places where plastic they and first of all, plastic not they break down. The way food take they break down, plastic not they break down. Plastic get lifespan of 500 to 1,000 years. Plastic will live past many of us, past our children, children. I know be swear because it they very durable. Now that durability, now I make manufacturers they buy and they use them. It they help them they maximize profits, but it they spoil things for us because one, it go end for inside water. So a lot of these plastic bottles, if you go ocean, you go beach, we will not go far, if you go like Gucci beach, you go see line on food, the beach, what will be the problem of that one? We say, a lot of our fishes, they die. Now, one UN 2018 report talks, say, by 2050, we will get more plastic for water than fish. So you go want your fish, the plastic go plenty past the fish. And beyond that, this thing, they enter our food chain. So these fish, them, they go chop the plastic. They go chop the plastic finish. They go land for our plates. We say, we go chop them. Whereas cooking, not they break down plastic. Plastic, not they break down. So if plastic break down at all, it go break down into a microplastic. In the smallest form, plastic is still plastic. It, it go just they break down into more and more forms of plastic. We go chop them. We they see increased cases of cancer every day. 
You don't know what they cost them. You know, say like, today. Now, we don't talk all this one. Now, yeah. you're going to tell us some of the disadvantages of plastic. People go, they look and say, which other option day? Our option because day. Because, say, for example, now, if you go Lagos Island Market, Ikmori, Akmo, any of the markets you go trade fair, all of them, even supermarkets that are even kind of modern and modest, if you buy finish, now that plastic, now they talk of that supermarket market online, they pay me pass. Yeah. Because a lot of these supermarkets. Because they should know better. Exactly. Now, for some of these supermarkets, where we say there be global companies. I don't want to call their names, but we know some of them where we say global brands, you go, go yeah. buy five pieces of some uh, of things, maybe toothbrush, toothpaste. They'll give you ten bags. We go take. I just exaggerate, of course, but we know say they're two day packed. They go put toothbrush for one nylon, put uh, soap for another nylon. They go just pack plenty of nylon. Some people themselves, their own, and then go. They say, give me nylon now. But for first world countries, they're not going to try this nonsense whether they try for Nigeria. Because say like, laws they maybe say they protect the environment for other, other countries. Because see, say they go tell you, say for these supermarkets now, paper that paper they bags. use, paper bags, they go use paper bags, Round or they're going to give you recyclable or, bags. Yes. So, yes, we know say right now it go really hard us. But now we want to make the enter consciousness of people. Make we as in the individuals, first of all, accept them. Because now only when we accept them, then we go call the city. Because now the individuals, now they the government. Now you talk about laws. Which law or which bill we get for inside Nigeria, we go protect the country, protect the land, and protect the people so concerning this plastic? Uh, plastic exactly. I, I, they're happy to say you ask that question. Because for the 21st of May this year, you get one bill where they call the Plastic Bag Prohibition Bill, where they say the Federal House of Representatives don't pass them into law. However, we know say, not be there end. They go need to send them, go send it, send it, go debate them. They go pass them, they go concern them, go executive, executive go concern, all those stories, stories with the inside. But we they talk about this plastic bag prohibition bill because what they try to say, they limit the production, importation, manufacturing, and usage of plastic. It go put fine. Now, some people go talk, say, ah, now plastic I use, why go go jail? But we they see for many countries, even for Kenya, 2017, they put their own plastic bag ban. Many countries, they do this thing. They go talk, say, ah, now this won't be the problem when Nigeria gets. Nigeria gets many more issues, many more things to deal with. But the truth be say, if we start to, they, every, if we start to they neglect every problem, now so we go realize everything will they increase, they increase. And with their crisis, we, we get environmental crisis upon our hands. Global warming, climate change, even though many people, they deny them. They, they deny them, but rain still they fall for December. Before rain, they fall for December. Heavy rain still they fall for December. We they use touch light, they find them at time, we know they see. Now, all these things, now they contribute directly and indirectly to climate change because we know they ever, we know they put our own uh, uh, laws in place. So if we go like make them pass the plastic bag prohibition bill, you know, they make we make alternatives, several alternatives day. So if they tell you say may you know they use single use plastic, what even be single use plastic? Now all those plastic where we say you go use them one time, go throw away. So you go use cup, uh, bottle water, you go drink, you go throw away. You go disposable use cups. disposable cup, dispose take away plates. So it gets some ways where we they take go around them. Although we know say that water on go hard where well, because we don't get portable water for Nigeria. Many people know that pure water, now that they drink. So instead we go say if to say now I get water dispenser for my office, you get for your house, I get for my house, we get for church, for market, for office, and all you need to do now to they carry your refillable bottle. That way, you go reduce the number of plastic where we they buy. So if I carry my bottle, I fetch for you, I fetch for you, and time where I get In the case of pure water and cup? No, so now be the thing. If everybody gets uh, refillable waters for their houses, for their offices, if you reduce them. But the main problem, no be say, make with the even they do that one. The main problem is say, make they even stop to the produce them. If we go abroad, for example, Will Smith picking, don't invent into one water where we say that they put them inside, take away pack. No, everything they environment friendly. The cover and a bamboo they take make the cover. All these things that things where we say, we know say go sound like, ah, that will not be our problem. But now when flood don't reach your domot, then it will be your problem. Before, so you live for island na, na luxury thing. But now during rainy season, you go to regret it, you live for island. But now this plastic be part of our problem. You go go block our drainage, they cause flood. For land, you know, they, the land not they break down. So for the landfill, they cause nuisance. You go as the soil they absorb them, now poison in the soil they absorb. If they release greenhouse gases as they break down. You know, I've been so many, many things. So we look at for from the nylon, that one at the bottle. Now, for the nylon for inside market, because now this is where you don't talk. If really you want to eradicate them, there's going to be a lot of job losses from production to, man to processing to distribution. Because if you go market, and they use market because market now there the masses there. Now there you see a larger use of this nylon bags, this yellow and black nylon, white and black nylon, or the all black nylon. Now, if you say work on what time, which job opportunities go there for those people where they distribute them? 
those people they are so business. If you go to their shop for, for example, Lagos Island Market, now nylon they say. But you know, safe before nylon become business, we they thrive. Before nylon, before we start today, not be today, nylon and uh, plastic and all these things. Now from the 1950s, we get away where we they do our things before. People still get other options. Now because see that option, they are available. Now make now because say, people see this option, this option what they talk against. They see them as a business venture. If That's now why then go government can talk, say venture. we know they do that one, we they find the alternatives. So for example, you get some companies where we say they are business and eco-friendly packaging. If to say now I can't talk, say okay, oh, gov government don't ban this one. No. Maybe we they focus on eco-friendly packaging. Government talks, say okay, we go, we go encourage investment for that regard. It could also create fresh job opportunities. So if we say we they switch from nylon, for example, to reusable tote bags, everybody start to the switch. Government helps, say okay, oh, and the way we they, they, that time everybody they talk about subsidy, subsidize the rate of starting a business, put incentives to encourage people to come for environment and friendly or eco-friendly businesses. That one will help us cover mileage very well. So we're not going to talk, say, oh, because I understand to totally, we don't want to make anybody lose their job. Because people go, go try to frustrate this effort, yes, knowing yes. because they look at from their own selfish path, which is understandable. We as humans, were bound to be selfish. But they if they tell you, from, say... From their own side, say, ah, yes. I'm not going to... So this nylon, this investment, I will just throw around like that. Exactly. But no, I don't put on top of this kind of business. Now I'll wait for, for inside my backyard because I don't say this is a season. And people go, Plenty for market, people go buy more. So now they tell me, say, make I just stop and like that. Some people go, they don't know they think I'm from the benefit of the general good. Exactly. So they look at from their own end, say, for me, I go lose money. And I be the thing, you know, we they very, very selfish. The human nature, they very selfish. Everybody's individual um, need, everybody, everybody they put their individual need first before they put other people's need. But at the end of the day, if everybody they look out for themselves individually, things no go they better for us. It just be like, say, maybe they come, they glorify certain things because it they benefit you. Unfortunately, now, where our generation, they tend to, everybody they look out for themselves, everybody they look out for their pockets, which go benefit them, everybody they go politics because they want benefit themselves personally. Personally. So it did it would be difficult, but it did very achievable. So now little little modifications we they ask for. Little modifications apart from say make government signing this bill, we they ask for little things like instead where you go go outside, go buy takeaway, sit down for inside the restaurant chop. If you chop for inside there, you know go buy takeaway, pack web say we know so you go throw away at the end of the day. Instead, you know, just little little modification, you buy a bottle of water, not ask for straw. People go talk, say not be straw, tiny straw, but now so seven billion people around the world go say not be straw. So imagine how many straws. If to say everybody they use one straw a day, now say they use over seven billion straws a day. So imagine the kind of damage. In fact, for the report, they're talking that straw be one of the most common pollutants. And when they talk, say, make people use avenue, any little avenue where you get. Is there where we say you go buy, they go put something for 20 shopping bags. Tell them, say, make they put them for one, as much as you can. Or carry your own bag, carry your own reusable bag. And by the time they start to, they put fines. Say, oh, if you won't buy plastic bag, you go pay extra 15 naira, you go pay extra 100 naira. The same way we say, people now, if you won't pay with your ATM, they'll tell you maybe pay extra 15 naira. Some people don't, they carry cash because you go think of how many 50, 50, 50, 50 naira you go yeah, transfer you up, up and down. down. Now tell us what people want, want, where they see the same vision, where this foundation gets, how they fit to support this kind of vision, where the foundation gets. And Thank you very how much. How they take work, which, which, which other thing, event, or which one they do to sensitize the public on top of the goal we want to get? I, I did very happy to say you asked that question. Thank you very much. So we would like many people first of all follow us for social media. Our social media now for Instagram now end single use plastic ng end single, single use plastic, plastic ng. Now be our Instagram account for other accounts. Uh, we they use esup now. Uh, esup now mean end single use plastic now. But for Instagram now end single use plastic. So run now may go follow us for Instagram with it now beg with a beg. Also we get one campaign where we they do now where we say people go try repeat one thing three times. So that thing now. Polyethylene terephthalate. Now be the components where they take that PET bottle where we take they buy all these minerals, bottle water, pet bottles. exactly pet bottle. So we they try create awareness about what it mean. And at the end of the day, you know, you go send your message. So you go just do video of yourself, post, tag us, we go repost. So I go put you for the spot, maybe you do your own. What do you mean? Polyethylene terephthalate. Repeat ah, and as fast ah, as You go need to do a <laughs> slow. Okay. So that I can draw it like okra as they draw okra for a size. So. Okay, so the first one polyethylene. Polyethylene terephthalate. Terapolate. Yes. Polyethylene, Polyethylene terapolate. Terapolate. Exactly. Polyethylene 
teraphthalate. So you go repeat them as fast. Now, tongue twister. Polyethylene teraphthalate. Polyethylene teraphthalate. Polyethylene teraphthalate. You try, you try, you try. I'm a science student, so you know, polyethylene is one of the things we do. Yeah, we know. Exactly. So repeat them as fast as you can. Yeah. It's actually fun to say. Yeah. So polyethylene teraphthalate. Polyethylene teraphthalate. Polyethylene teraphthalate. Polyethylene. Okay. Yeah. So repeat them. Do video at the end. Fit tell us. Say make everybody stay away from single use plastic. Tag us for Instagram at end single use plastic ng and we go repost. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we very, very good job on that they do. Thank and you of course, we're here to always support and we wish you the very best. And we Thank hope you. so with the goal on our guests, we're going to achieve them. And the government will listen to this kind of project because Thank now what we need much. for our environment with us. I do very happy. Thank you so for inviting me. You're welcome. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.